we will see how to check this laptop motherboard already i have given this lessons in in our regional language telugu but so many people wants in english i don't know fluency of english i will give with my best in this lesson any language mistakes forgive me first you should download this laptop motherboard circuit this circuits available in forshare.com or lqv77.com now i will download this circuit this is dv2000 v3000 motherboard see here lqv77.com now hp pavilion dv2000 compact v3000 schematic circuit diagram this is this laptop motherboard circuit diagram i will explain with circuit diagram this motherboard how to check dead laptop motherboard i will explain with this the help of this circuit diagram every laptop motherboard has three types of voltages those are always voltage a l w or auxiliary voltage or a l voltage that means always this is 12 volts dc 5 volts dc 3.3 volts dc this voltage will present without pressing power button this voltage this voltage comes from dc adapter or battery these two voltages come out from 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator ic sus on suspend voltage s5 s3 s4 states this is suspend voltage 5 volts 3.3 volts and memory supply if in that motherboard used in ddr1 that voltage 2.5 volts ddr2 1.8 volts ddr3 1.5 volts run power s0 state power on voltages ich supply sio supply gmch supply graphics supply cpu supply other supplies now we will see first this always supply this is dc jack this is battery connector every laptop motherboard have this 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator ic but number is different from this when you connect adapter to this dc jack this voltage 14 to 18 volts this voltage comes to this ic 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator ic through two fets through two fets this is battery connector from battery connector when you connect battery from battery connector 12 volts comes come out from battery connector to 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator ic through this fet if it is faulty motherboard cannot work with dc adapter but this will work with battery motherboard will work with battery if it is faulty motherboard motherboard will work with dc adapter but will not the, the motherboard will not work with battery so if it is faulty motherboard cannot work with dc jack or battery so if any laptop motherboard is dead you should check from dc jack to 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator ic from these dc jacks to 14 to 18 volts comes to this ic and another pin shut down when you give voltage to input pin and shut down pin the 5 volts and 3.3 volts present will present at ldo5 means low drop out 5 volts low drop out 3 3.3 volts 3 means will present here two voltages will present here we will see in the in circuit this is circuit this is laptop motherboard see here system dc dc tps 51120 inputs dc bat out that means dc dc adapter bat means battery out that means 18 volts dc adapter if you have given voltage from uh, adapter this voltage 18 volts if you connect battery this voltage 12 volts so input voltage 12 volts or 18 volts output volts 5 volts s3 state 
3 volts s5 state so i will we will see that page this is dc in one jack this is adapter jack this is dc in adapter jack pin number 1 2 3 4 5 pin number 1 2 3 4 5 pin number 2 3 ground 4 5 voltage pin number 1 2 3 ground 4 5 supply pins this supply when you connect adapter to this pins this positive voltage come out from this pins to this track this to u58 1 2 3 pins this is input pins when you give voltage when you give 5 volts to this gate that means pin number 4 voltage in the um, output voltage will present voltage will present at 5 pin number 5 6 7 8 no voltage at this point pin number 4 this voltage will not present here this is adapter plus this is adapter off this is adapter off q18 uh, when motherboard is short this adapter off voltage 3 volts comes to this pin pin number 2 q18 when this voltage will present here this voltage goes to 14 volts when this voltage goes to 14 volts this output voltage will not present when this voltage will then this voltage is 5 volts this voltage will present here so input voltage is okay no output at this points you should check this two transistors if dc jack is short you should check c460 ec48 ec10 and c459 the four components you should check this capacitors we will see u58 u58 this is u58 this is u58 pin number 1 this is pin number 1 2 3 4 pin number 5 6 7 8 8 this is u58 q19 this is q19 this is q18 this is q18 see here q19 this is q19 q19 see here this is q18 this is q18 this is q18 c460 c459 c460 c459 if dc dc jack is short you should check this capacitors adapter plus this voltage goes to charger phase charger ic phase so total pages 47 this is 39th page see here 39 of 47 charger max 8725 this is ic charger ic this is adapter path this is battery path so this is adapter adapter voltage comes to this fat this is adapter plus this voltage comes from page number 46 this voltage comes to u4 pin number 5 6 7 8 u4 this is u4 pin number 5 6 7 8 you give voltage to pin number 4 this input voltage comes out from this pin number 1 2 3 this is output pins this is input pins this is input pins this is output pins this is gate when you give voltage to gate this voltage from uh, comes from this pins to this pin this these pins this is pin number 1 2 3 pin number 1 2 3 r45 r45 this is current limiting resistor g5 g6 this is gap resistor g5 g6 this is gap resistors dc bat out see here this is battery connector this voltage comes from battery connector this voltage com comes from battery connector we will see see here page number 46 battery connector this is battery connector from this battery connector voltage come out from bt plus this is battery positive pin this voltage goes to from battery connector to positive voltage comes to this 
fat u5 pin number 5678 u5 this is u5 pin number 5678 this is input this is output this is output this is bat dc bat out that means dc adapter battery out this is combined voltage so u4 this is u4 this is u5 this is u4 this is u5 adapter voltage comes to this chip this is input pin this is output pin battery voltage comes to this fat pin this is input pins this is output pins these two voltages comes to this resistor see here this voltage come with to this ic this is the combined path this is combined path you should check here 12 volts dc is there or not if you connect adapter you should check 18 volts is there or not so this voltage goes to 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator ic this is 5 volts and 3.3 volts regulator ic circuit page number 36 this is u44 ic you see this is u44 ic when you give voltage to v in pin number 22 when you give voltage to input pin number 22 this voltage 5 volts v regulator 5 volts the 5 volts comes out from this pin pin number 21 you should check voltage at this point c382 c383 382 so this is c382 you should check here 5 volts is there or not if 5 volt will present here this size is okay next v regulator 3.3 volts you should check at this capacitor c385 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 you should check here voltage is there or not 3.3 volts is there or not so this is 3.3 volts capacitor this is 5 volts capacitor you should check here the 3.3 volts goes to sio chip and bias chip will present without pressing power button i will give this type online classes also if you have any laptop motherboard i will give this type coaching in online if you want demo classes i will give two demo classes after you should satisfaction with that classes you should pay amount